Well, good morning, everyone. Can I start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we gather and pay my respects to the elders past and present? Can I, of course, acknowledge the Minister for Housing and Public Works, Mick de Brenny, my Minister for Employment and Industrial Relations, Grace Grace? Can I also acknowledge our Labor candidate for the Senate, Anthony Chisholm? It's lovely to have you with us here this morning, Anthony. Can I acknowledge the President of the Master Plumbers Association of Queensland, Kelvin Slade? Can I, of course, acknowledge the Executive Director of the Master Plumbers Association of Queensland, Penny Corner? And, of course, uh, to the State Secretary of the Plumbers Union Queensland, Gary O'Halloran. Uh, Gary, your leadership is an inspiration, and I just want to publicly, in front of everyone, thank you very much for your close working relationship uh, with my government. You are extraordinary, uh, you are passionate about everything that you do, you are driving a very clear agenda with my government. And uh, if it wasn't for Gary asking me uh, to attend today, uh, I wouldn't be here. So can we just give Gary a big round of applause for everything that he does? Uh, can I uh, acknowledge uh, the, uh, uh, Stephen Richards, who's with us today as our guest speaker. I'm looking forward to hearing how you're going to weave plumbing into your, your speech uh, today. It'll be very exciting. And of course, the uh, interim of the uh, the chair of the interim services trade council, uh, Bill Watson. Uh, to all the plumbers in the room, to all the apprentices in the room, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, happy World Plumbing Day! It's uh, great to be here with you, and uh, a big thank you from my government for everything that you are doing uh, out in the community. And if anyone deserves a special day for them, it's you. Properly skilled and properly licensed plumbers are critical to a healthy and functioning society, as we saw from that video as well. And I think everybody realises how important uh, your role is, uh, not just in the home, but in the construction industry and right across uh, our state. Uh, when we build apartment blocks and office towers, we want to know that licensed plumbers have installed dependable, safe water services. And when disaster befalls us, ensuring safe and secure water is critical to the community health and safety. And that's really important, especially when we have cyclones and the damage that happens across our state as well. I want to touch on uh, what Gary uh, mentioned earlier about um, the fact that uh, you have that apprentice centre that's with industry as well. I've been out there. I'm just so impressed uh, to see the way that uh, you are driving uh, the workforce in terms of the spirit of cooperation. And I think uh, by having uh, Rob Mulholk here as well, so thank you, Rob, for your attendance here today as the Shadow Minister, uh, you will see that there is bipartisan support across government uh, for the industry and the Plumbers Association working together. And that's very rare in politics, can I tell you? It's very rare in politics, but it's lovely to see that uh, here with uh, your organisation. Uh, Mick de Brenny will talk uh, later, our minister, in detail about what our government is doing uh, to achieve for your industry, and he'll have the latest on where, we're at, where we are at with the new dedicated plumbing industry body, the Services uh, Trades Council. I also just wanted to pass comment that I think it's, uh, it's fantastic to see that four apprentices uh, down in uh, Melbourne at the, at the national competition. And I think that's uh, wonderful to see. And, if, and hopefully uh, Queensland will come out on top. And I understand that if they do win, they end up going to the United States to compete. And that's a wonderful opportunity for young people. So while today is World Plumbing Day, this whole week, and I'll give a plug here for all the women in the room, is uh, Women's Week. And uh, on Wednesday, I released the, the Queensland Women's Strategy. It targets key concerns for women, including the gender pay gap, barriers to employment, increasing the number of women in leadership positions, and of course, domestic and family violence, which is a very important issue across uh, not just our local community, our state, but also across the nation. We are determined to remove barriers preventing women uh, from, and girls achieving their goals, either at work or in the community. And when we increase opportunities for women in the workforce, we strengthen our economy. And I was just mentioning to Gary, I said, are oh, there many uh, women involved uh, in, in, in plumbing these days? And he said, oh, no, not too many, but we're, you know, we're working on it, which is great. And I reflect back, you know, 20 years ago, uh, when I was involved in politics at quite a young age, there weren't many women involved back then either, and now we've got a 50% cabinet. So I think things have changed, and, and over time they will change in all different parts of our society, in all different parts of our industry. 
Well, this morning I have the honour of announcing Queensland's first ever ambassadorship for women in plumbing. There are over 16,000 plumbers in Queensland, but only 46 of them are women. We've got to do more to change that, don't we? I'm sure none of you here today still believe that women belong behind the kitchen sink, not under it. <laughs> but that exact taunt, that exact taunt was said to our new ambassador many times when she was doing her plumbing apprenticeship. Times have changed and we all have to change with them. A female plumber on your staff is a plus for your business. Many women feel more comfortable dealing with a female. And I might just comment too, I was recently out at um, Energex uh, at Rockley as well, and there are more women coming through um, there as well, which is fantastic to see. So, you know, in a couple of those uh, predominantly male-dominated organisations, we are seeing women. But, you know, to all, the, to all the blokes in the room, you've all got a, a role to play as well. You know, give them a bit of encouragement and tell them they're doing a good job, you know. Don't have a go at them. Say, you know, this is how we do it and, and come and join in. So I'm quite sure that if we all work together, we can um, achieve a lot together. Uh, so um, I'm delighted to announce today that Queensland's uh, first ever ambassador for plumbing is uh, Rebecca Senyard. Rebecca has been an absolute trailblazer and an inspiration to female tradies everywhere. She is currently co-manager of Brisbane-based J. Cole Plumbing. In 2009, she was named Ducks Australian Plumbing Apprentice of the Year. I think we should give her a round of applause for that. That's a pretty big achievement. I like this next part. Since 2012, Rebecca has written a blog called The Plumette. It provides an inspiring and fascinating look at the trials and tribulations of working in a male-dominated profession while at the same time raising a family. Before we hear from Rebecca, I just want to quote her favourite saying from her blog. It underlines what a great choice she is in, as Queensland's first female ambassador for plumbing. And she says, be somebody who brings out the best in everybody. So congratulations to Rebecca. And can I please ask uh, Rebecca and Penny to join us on stage. And once again, Penny, thank you very much for initiating uh, this, uh, uh, this, this award. And uh, I'm quite sure everyone's going to be very, very proud um, of Rebecca and everything that, uh, that she can do in the future for encouraging more women coming through. So let's get Penny and Rebecca on stage. And once again, thank you for having me here today and happy World Plumbing Day. I'm sure they're smiling, but if we give them another big round of applause, all three lovely ladies. <laughs> 